from Singapore. He says in a long story that his father, who was pious, who used to pray and give zakat and was a practicing Muslim, passed away last year maybe, and he was not attended by any of the Muslims he knew, only non-Muslim doctors. So he says, can he go to Jannah without uttering the Shahada? First of all, how would you know that he did not utter the Shahada? You have no evidence. Secondly, why do you think negatively of your father? Akhi, it's a rule of thumb that whoever lives on something dies on it. As long as your father lived as a righteous practicing Muslim, praying, uh, doing his athkar, giving zakat, fasting Ramadan, you should not worry at all that he did not say the shahada because saying the shahada is a plus when we hear it. Not hearing it is not a minus. It could have been between him and Allah Azza wa Jal. He could have said it between, uh, uh, in, in front of the non-Muslim doctors and they did not know what they had heard. And even if he did not say it at all, what counts is his work. This extra, whoever concludes his life with La ilaha illallah would enter Jannah. This is a bonus. But so many righteous practicing Muslims and companions died on their in their sleep. So were they deprived from saying it? Will, will they not enter the Jannah? No, of course not. So think positive of your father and more uh, than that, think positive of Allah. Allah is most merciful, Allah is most forgiving. He would never cancel your father's good deeds just because of an incident in your head. It's not in reality either. It's in your head that he didn't say it. How would you know? He could have said it multiple times. And this is something between him and Allah Azza wa Jalla.